Seeds are a bit of magic, whether it's growing vegetables or flowers. There's something incredibly rewarding growing from seed this small. Today I'm going to show you how to grow peppermint stick Swiss chard from a seed. First, fluff up the soil in a nice neat row. This is making sure the soil is light and it has good drainage. Next you want to get some sticks. I'm using chop sticks and some string and you're going to put it at each end of the line so that you'll have a nice straight line and you'll know exactly where your plants are growing. You will also want to label the plant. You may think you'll remember, but you won't. Put the package in a plastic baggie and attach it to one chopstick. Next, get a pencil or dibber or a chopstick and poke a little hole in the soil. Now don't, don't put the seeds in carelessly. Make sure that you read the package. It will tell you when to plant, how deep, how far apart, and be sure to give the plants room to grow. In this case, it's half an inch deep, one inch apart. And be gentle when you plant the little seeds. Some of them are so tiny and fine they can blow away on a breath or a breeze. Water with a sprayer, not a watering can at first. You don't want the soil to dry out, but you also don't want it to be soggy. This is what you want to avoid. Too much water and it develops a fungal disease. Once you start to see green poking through the soil, make sure you mulch with compost. When a seedling develops a third leaf, prick out the extra plants. This makes sure that things don't get too crowded. So if you follow these simple steps, in very, very short order, you're going to reap the benefits of all of this care. And whether this Swiss chard is part of an ornamental garden or of a vegetable garden, it's going to be absolutely great looking and very delicious to eat.